Energy Skate Park, Part 2, Mass and Speed. Read through and follow the step-by-step -step directions. Stop at each green table to answer the questions. Use the sentence frames if needed. Step 1. Click on Friction. Step 2. Click on Pie Chart. Step three, click slow motion and the pause button. Step four, change the skater's mass to small and place him in the top left side of the half pipe. Click play and click pause when the skater gets to the bottom of the half pipe. Change the mass of the skater to medium. Observe the change, percentage because of what we did yesterday. Observe the change in kinetic energy when increasing the mass. So I'm going to watch my pie chart here as I move the mass to medium. Do it one more time. Step number six. Change the mass of the skater to large. Observe the change in kinetic energy when increasing the mass. First question. As the mass of the skater increases, what happens to the kinetic energy? Use what you've done here in the beginning of these instructions to answer your question in this box. Sentence frames are provided right below if you need them. Step number seven, slide the mass bar from large to small and observe the change in kinetic energy when decreasing the mass. So I'm going to move it from large, and I'm going to observe over here as I'm doing it. Large to small. Do it one more time. Large to small mass. And you're observing what happens to kinetic energy, which is the green. Question number two. As the mass of the skater decreases, what happens to the kinetic energy? Pay attention to the pie chart, and you're looking at the green. Answer that question here. Sentence frames are provided if you need help. Step number eight, click the restart button. And then click on pie chart and speed. Then set friction as none. This is new. We did not do this yesterday. Pie chart, speed, and friction to none. Step number nine. Click slow motion and then the pause button. Step number 10, place the skater on the top left side of the half pipe, click play, and observe how the skater's speed changes. So once I click play, I'm going to be watching speed and how it relates to my pie chart, and I'm looking for one of these two things, potential or kinetic. 
So let's watch. Question number three, and you can let this play for a little while if you want to, just so you can tell. Question number three, as the speed of the skater increases, what happens to the kinetic energy? So you're gonna go back, you're going to observe, and then answer the question here. Use the sentence frame if needed. Question number four, as the speed of the skater decreases, what happens to the kinetic energy? Once again, observe, answer your question here, use the sentence frame if needed. Two more questions. This last section, you kind of have to work it on your own. It's not directly from the lab. Based on what you have learned from the Energy Skate Park Lab, answer the questions below. Question number five. If you wear a 20 pound backpack while skateboarding, how would that affect your speed? Answer that question here, and you're gonna use this first sentence frame if you need assistance. Question number six. If you wear a 20 pound backpack while skateboarding, how would that affect your kinetic energy? Answer your question here, and use this very last sentence frame to help you out if you need assistance.